I wasn't very good at the guitar. <laughs> but, uh, and this is a, a Strat, uh, which I might show you how to draw later. But, but right at the moment, I'm going to show you how to draw a Gibson Les Paul. Keep watching. Okay, I'm heading straight into this one because I think it could take a little while. I've, I've been asked to do this by PS3X Gameplay, my YouTube friend. And uh, what we're going to need, I'm going to start off with a compass today, which is, well, I don't usually use a compass and, and things like that. I usually do freehand. But I want to show you kind of the relationship of uh, of the uh, how things are on here. Okay, draw a circle. And from the centre, then you want kind of lines going out backwards. So it's just before 11 o'clock and 7 o'clock like that. And, and just above, then you want to kind of curve. So this will be going straight there. So that will come straight out kind of like that. And then that will want to come pointing kind of down like that. And again, from straight out there to about that extra thickness. And then down to there. Now about that amount of distance again, you want to add to there and give yourself kind of that same <laughs> that the diameter there is the same as that diameter there and then that's going to come actually it's a bit probably a bit more it's a bit too much um and it's going to sort of come out like that and then you get that curve there uh how do i get that height oh golly uh right. <laughs> now once you've done this bit here i worked out there's a kind of a relationship if you do this into threes, right, then that's about going to be your height. So one, two, three. So that one is going to be kind of the bottom of this one here, which is again going to be kind of pretty much the same shape. But then if you know a Les ball, you know it's going to kind of cut back like that. So the neck, uh, if we get a, a line down the centre, give us a guide. Uh, so the neck's going to be kind of about like that. Uh, and it wants to taper a bit like that and it wants to taper a bit on this side like that so this is kind of, kind of you know working it out so the the center here is where the uh, strings are screwed on you got know, kind of things like that in here and then you've got the the bridge which is kind of about there uh, the the neck comes in to actually it's kind of the you want to get that curve like that and it actually comes right pretty much to the end of that curve doesn't it like that if you're a les paul player you'll know all this stuff instinctively i've never played les paul man so well i i played them i had a go on them i never really got oh they were so heavy <laughs> i was i was well, actually actually what i always really wanted was a telecaster but i never had one uh i got a Squire Strat in the end, but I hardly ever play now. I spend all my time drawing instead. So these are your, your pickups. Uh, strings will be going down there. Now you've got another relationship here. Okay, so kind of that height there. The neck is about twice the length of that. So that gives you an idea of how far down here to go. And I think actually it could probably be a bit narrower than that because it goes. A bit narrower down towards the end, isn't it? Uh, something like that. Uh, you've got a little, actually, it's more generous. It's a very generous kind of tuning in on a Les Paul. Uh, and then it's still on the camera, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that will kind of go out like that. If you find a middle point there, then it comes out and curves. Out and curves like that. And you've got this strange kind of bell shaped thing here as well. Uh, which is the, 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 the nut which covers the, there's a metal rod that goes all the way down the, the neck to stiffen it uh, and then the I'm doing this going to do this very roughly I'll have to do this more precisely uh, and then your frets get narrower 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 you're going to have your rhythm and uh, rhythm and treble thing there you've got your pit that holds the uh, strap on you got one two three four and then just down here you've got the actually these are a bit more kind of like that really you got your scratch plate that comes up kind of like that doesn't it and a little bit holds it on 
in the plug in there. How are we doing? Four minutes. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Uh, I think I think all the elements are there. Uh, let me get a, a pen. I want to find one that's going to be that. Part. Okay. Let me get a pen. Now I'm going to use. I'm going to use the ruler for the neck because otherwise it gets really really wobbly. I'm just going to do a little line there because those balls tend to have that nice banding on on the, the neck, don't they? That's kind of one of the nice things about them. They're all very beautifully made, Les Pauls. But as I say, so heavy. But that's what gives them that sustain, isn't it? Um, right. Follow all the way around the outside. Carefully, 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 carefully. And then straight down there. Follow all the way around the outside there. Like that, and then it kind of curves into there. Uh, then, which I think the neck is... <laughs> I've made the neck too short, I don't know, there we are. Uh, make them getting wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and one, two, three, you've got something there, and you're going to get, you're going to want to put all, you want to, you want to put these all in the right places, I'm just guessing as I'm going along here at the moment. A uh, little bell kind of shape like that, we've got one, two, one, two, three, follow that all the way around. Curve, curve, a little bit like that, and then you've got the. They're going to very definitely kind of shape the uh, the buttons, haven't they? The on the Les Paul, that's going to go like that. One, two, three. Uh, then the pickups, these humbuckers, are kind of uh, 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 like that, and they have the kind of white bit around the outside, and they're screwed in, and they've got little tuning bits like that. The scratch plate kind of comes down like that and it's attached to the little piece there, isn't it? And you've got screws. Uh, your rhythm button is up there and your strap button, the other strap button is there. Uh, let's get that. Okay, that's the, the bridge. <sighs> Trying to get this all in in time. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm scratching, scraping up the paper. I'm just gonna put these in in like that. Three, one, two, and three. Uh, the one, two, one, two, and a little circle in the middle like that. And they've got little markings around there, and they like that. And that's where you plug it in. And I think that's everything. I do, I do, I do. Now I can't find the eraser. <laughs> well, that's all drawn. I said, wait until the ink is dry, and then you can uh, do it. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. You can then colour it in, sunburst, whatever colour you want to do. Uh, okay, that's how to draw a Gibson Les Paul. And uh, I'll maybe do a Stratocaster another day. Uh, keep coming back to the Shirena Drawing School at, on YouTube. And that's uh, also on uh, teachertube.com and on my own website, which is shoe-tube.com. And uh, keep coming back for more lessons and um, have a good jam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got Gibson. There we are. Cheers.